All right, everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to continue this series of gardening with my friends. Today, I have um, Ayana one in <laughs> <laughs> on my channel, and Ayana and I go back to college. So, um, you know, introduce yourself to my channel and kind of tell me, you know, how long you've been gardening. Um, hi, yeah, Ayana. I've known Andrea since um, we were so young and crazy, <laughs> but now we're so grown with our own garden. Yes. So um, I don't know, like when I was growing up, I didn't ever have a garden. And so I was like kind of as an adult, when I saw people with gardens, I was like kind of like enthralled, like that can never be me, you know? Mm -hmm. And it wasn't me for years until um, I decided one day I was just going to get, um, I was going to grow a tomato. Like if I don't do nothing else, I'm going to grow this one tomato. So I put a t um, it was in a container and I just put, I just bought a tomato plant from the store just to, you know, get my little feet wet and it grew. <laughs> and I got tomatoes that we ate of, and they were amazing. It was like magic, you know? It was yeah. like, even I can do this. Somebody who has no background at all whatsoever. Right. My mom didn't garden. She don't, she, we didn't have right. a houseplant in the house growing up, okay? Right. So, um, and then um, I, I've, I've gone through like several iterations. And so I know myself, like, <clears throat> I'm going to do something that's easy and quick, like the least amount of work possible. I always have these big dreams of having like a big farm in the backyard. You know, we're just like living off, eating off the land. I'm not going to go to the grocery store no more. <laughs> but that's, that's not how, that's actually not how life works. You know, I have a job, I have children, I have a husband, I got like stuff I got to do. <laughs> yeah, no, I so, mean, that, um, that's what helps me, you know, understand more about your garden because I know you I, I know you have a garden from following you on Facebook and you know you post the pictures of your garden and um now you have a chicken coop which we're going to talk about that too yes. <laughs> and um so no it really helps me to really get a better idea about how your garden is because one of the things I talk about on my channel to just educate people about gardening is your garden is your your own space so you make it exactly how you want to. So you started out with the tomato and then right. you, know, you got hooked. That's how most everybody gets hooked. They grow one thing and they're like, oh my God, now I can grow all of the things. So what are you growing now? I don't know. That's probably a huge question, right? <laughs> so, okay. So what works, the, let me see if I have the apples. Still. Okay. So what works the best for me is the smallest amount of maintenance. And so I like to grow stuff that's going to keep on growing. I have um, one apple tree. And it has two apples on it. This is the first year I grew this. I planted, let me show you. I planted this dang apple tree like three years ago and nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah, it takes now, time. Look at my apples. <gasps> apples. Oh I know gosh. they're not good. <laughs> I know they're probably not tasty. And, um, but it's, this is a start because I thought that I needed another. Wait a minute. You only have one apple tree and it grew? That's exactly what I was about to say is that I thought that you need um, two, at least two apple trees to like, you know, um, made or whatever. But it, the thing is that it might be somebody on my street that has an Probably. apple tree. Probably. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Because that they, might be have why. Have two. Yeah. Right. Which is why, and that's what I meant to do is like buy another one, but I just never did. Cause you, you know, you gotta do a lot of work to actually plant a tree, you know, it's mm -hmm. like, um, and I hadn't done that, but I guess, yeah, it worked this year. Somebody got something around here. Yeah, you know, you're, you're right. Yeah, it's probably somebody that has a tree nearby that you don't know about because that's the one thing I've heard about all trees. Well, really, uh, our vegetables too. You know, we have to get them in twos most times so they can mate and uh, or pop cross pollinate is what we just say instead of right. mate. But exactly um, right. but yeah, so that's just amazing though that you've grown the two and you said it was three years and now you have two apples. So maybe right. next year you'll start getting more, right? Yeah, I want to plant, um, and here's like a little side note, where we lived before, so we just moved in this house three years ago, that's when I put the, um, the tree here, but like, but when, when we lived before that, I planted um, an apple tree and a peach tree, <clears throat> and that's it, I didn't plant like two of each or anything. Well, um, I went back there, because we still own, the, it's like a, a rental, whatever, so we still okay. own it. So I went there the other day, and girl, there are thousands of apples on there, thousands of peaches, Oh man. I am so 
sad. I'm going to rip the tree up and bring it back here. My tenants, they don't care about that peach tree. It's so many apples. They're not picking it up. They're not doing anything with it. Oh, that is so funny that you would say that because the interview that I did earlier this week, she has like mm -hmm. all types of trees and she was asking me, you know, have you um, planted any trees? I said, no, because when I plant my tree, I'm going to uproot it when I move. <laughs> Girl, right. That's what I want. That's what I want to do. But I really need didn't somebody take that. to love my tree like I love my tree. Right. Y'all got all these apples, they fall on the ground rotten. You could have made all types of apple pie. Oh my gosh. I would be over there picking. I would, I would still be over there. I don't know. I, don't. I would at least get the vegetables and the fruit. Like, Girl, girl, it's crazy. <laughs> so you have anyway, a tree. What else I do you tree. have? So I also have, um, and you saw this on Facebook, um, I have a watermelon. That's crazy. You got a big I cannot, one, too. I have, yeah, and I have grown. Let me see if I can flip this around. So this, okay, so let me just tell you about this right here. I used to have a bunch of different um, <clears throat> things in here, but mm -hmm. I wanted to move it because it's in my front yard, you know. Right. And people might not want that here. And also, um, yeah, it's just easier if, if everything is together, but everything is kind of all over the place. Anyway, so um, well, I want to just move these bricks. That's why I like to get, I actually like to um, <clears throat> make my garden beds with, with um, stone because you okay. can move them easily and they never break down. Oh, it's, that's a good idea. Yeah, it's super pricey, but actually I moved these bricks from two places that I've lived, you know, from okay. the, the rental to like a rental that we, we rented and then to this house. Okay. And now I'm going to move this to the back. But before I didn't really feel like moving the bricks. I was like, let me just throw this watermelon in here. This watermelon plant. And this is one plant. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Those vines go crazy. They go so crazy. I didn't know it's gonna. It was gonna go this crazy, and it was mm -hmm. even crazier. But my the um, lawn people came and um, chopped up, chopped it up all around it. Mm -hmm. It's fine because I still got my one little. What that is it? not little. That thing <laughs> is huge. I know. <laughs> Look at it compared to my hand. That is huge. Yeah, I hope it's good because you know when you go to the grocery store. I don't know. Yeah. Like, half the time they don't turn out good. So I only have one. You know, I just have one. Chance. Yeah. Yeah, just one. And I would I would watch that thing because I would be so mad if an animal got to it. Girl, I know, but I think you know what? I think it's too big now for animal to like really do anything that strong with it, you know? Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I've been I trying to grow watermelons now for the past three years and I get the babies but in in Chicago our frost date comes so fast that right. um, it gets cool and you know watermelons need heat and so um once that cold kind of sets in it's just like uh so I had two right. watermelons two really little ones like almost the size of the palm of my hand and maybe mm -hmm. one that I maybe could have held in both hands and a freaking um raccoon got to it and i'm like still mad about this <laughs> like, Girl. and what later. about when the squirrels and what about when the squirrels take your um tomatoes and just leave them around the yard half eaten have it Ooh. it's the worst it is like the worst eat the whole thing if you're gonna take it yeah and i need to mention too to the people who are watching that you're in georgia so your frost day is a little later than mine is right. um so do you do succession planting or i mean or fall planting either one yeah i'm gonna do fall yep i'm gonna do fall uh, i think i need to start like really now. soon but <laughs> yeah i know i know i've been so i've been collecting um to make um toilet paper rolls okay that's how i seed like that's how i started like my um the watermelon plants <clears throat> i started in a um in a toilet paper roll yeah because it's you can just put it directly into the ground once you you know you like put it so i put the um paper towel roll like with a bunch of them in a pot or something you know with the seed and then it'll start grow rooting in there you know growing in there okay and then i transplant it into the ground oh and it, and it biodegrades right so do you cut the t the paper towel and uh, roll in half what i don't need to know about this so, oh the paper sorry toilet paper I do okay. toilet paper and I do paper towel, but I'll cut it in half. But it's toilet okay. paper. Um, did I say paper towel? I can't remember. Anyway, it's okay. toilet paper, and then um, and yeah, I just do it from there. Mm -hmm. So you fill it up like all the way with dirt, and then put the seed in there. Yep. 
oh wow and you keep them in a container i guess in the sun or whatever and then yep. once they root you put the entire thing in the ground yep that is so nifty how long have you been doing that I just did it this year. I was just like okay. looking up stuff because me and my kid, my kids had this idea. They wanted to like sell plants. <laughs> and so I, um, I was trying to figure out the cheapest material to grow it in. And also I like to, I just like am into recycling and reusing and stuff like of that. Course. Of course. And so, um, yeah, so we, yeah, so that's what we did. So we used that. We found that. And that was like really good. Wow. I'm glad you mentioned that. I'll, um, yeah. I'll see if I can find some more information on it and kind of, yeah. you know, get some, you know, parts and put it in the description box and on to the blog. Cause I do a blog too. Yeah. Well, now, I can send you pictures too of, um, of it. Yeah. Of it. Yeah. I would love to see that process because, um, that is very interesting. So do you always start from seeds? Um, for the most part, cause it's so much cheaper. Yeah, I, so I I do both. I do some seeds and some seedlings. Um, starting from seeds stresses me out, and I I can't take it. Um, oh right, because I <laughs> is it gonna make it or not? I don't. Know. I know. I know. Well, let me tell you, I felt the same way. And so when I first started, uh, that's what I did. I was like getting a thousand seeds and like trying to do it. And then I would let it go and then everything would die. And I'll feel like a loser, basically. <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to do this no more. I'm going to buy plants. And so I bought plants for a long time. But um, this, I don't know, maybe a couple of years ago is when I first had some seeds. And I basically just like, it was some kale seeds, actually. And the kale I still have back there, too. But I wow. like just spread it out into the um, into the garden bed. And I was like, I don't know what's going to happen. But the seeds were free. They gave me they gave them to me at the library. And so I just okay. like threw them out. I think they were like old, too. Like, you know how they have like a date on it? It was they like do. Years old. Yeah. Yeah. But and some things just, will grow. Some things that that date doesn't mean anything. And sometimes it it really is like, dead yep. or whatever yeah. right exactly exactly oh i can show you one let me show you the the um the kale, a kale plant that i have now I, now kale does better in the fall you probably already know this yeah but cool does better in the, yeah in the cooler weather <clears throat> and um and so i usually don't really take care of them that much during the summer but this kale is not it's not doing too bad so nice so this is my dinosaur kale oh yeah i can tell by the leaves yeah and i've had this for a really long time like years oh, it's but it's, back. It, so this is actually like a part of another one so once i once you um harvest it right the part uh -huh. that you harvest so if i pick all this out then it basically turns into like this it's just like a stick and then it grows taller okay and then it'll start like leaning down trying to find some more root you know what i mean mm -hmm. find somewhere else the root and so what i did was i cut the part that was rooting and i just stuck it in this dirt and then it mm -hmm. kept growing in this pot because this is oh, not the original wow. place it was in. That's, I mean, I like that you're talking about this kind of stuff because, you know, I talked about on the video, the um, girl who did the container garden video, uh, Crystal, you know, it can get expensive. So you have to get really cra crafty sometimes, sometimes yes. on purpose and sometimes accidental. And, you know, you can really figure some stuff out just by like, oh, we'll see if this will work. But that's right. You said, it's, you said it's been coming back for two years now. It's been years. I don't even know how many years. It's been, let me see, wow. I've been in this house for like three years. So around then, that's when I started three years ago. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, so, keep I, going. so I always plant like a, every year when I plant my garden, I always plant like a out of this world kind of thing. Kind of like a, it's a wish like, hey, I put it in there. I don't know if it's going to grow. Right. Um, this year for me, it was sunflowers. So do you have anything like that that you were like, oh, we'll see if it grows and it actually grew? Um, probably that watermelon. I never, I've never been successful with watermelon before. Okay. Like, uh, I mean, it'll grow like the little ones, like how you were saying, mm -hmm. but uh, it wouldn't get much bigger and it would definitely not taste good. So I couldn't believe it turned out that good. That's why, okay. that's why I showed you that one first. <laughs> That's your prize winning watermelon. Yes. Yes. <laughs> for the state fair. <laughs> <laughs> right. For real. Seriously. <laughs> that is so funny. So what mm -hmm. else do you have? So up here I have, let me just flip it around. <clears throat> so this is um some cabbage, Napa cabbage that I actually have not harvested yet. You see it's going to seed. I need to do something yes, with it. Yes, bolting, yeah. Yep. And then this one's gotten eaten up real bad. 
by um the little slugs. I know they're but, the um, worst. Maybe you could put the um the Demetrius Demetri. I forgot how to say it. Down the Earth, hottest Earth. Something, something like whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you can put the word on the screen for that one. Yeah. <laughs> And then, uh, okay, so this is a butterfly bush that we just did for the butterflies. And um, this is some um, <clears throat> lavender. Now, this lavender was originally over where the watermelon is. Mm -hmm. But I moved it here because I wanted to, like I told you, I wanted to move the, um, that garden bed to the back. Mm -hmm. But um, I moved it, and it's doing pretty good over here. I was surprised because I actually had some sage that died over here. But Okay. The, um, and then I also, this is more lavender. And that's rosemary. Okay, so now I'm gonna walk to the back. Oh, look at the chickens. Let me show you these chickens. They are not to be this. get over the fact that you have a whole chicken coop. That Girl. is crazy. And let me tell you, my husband made this, and I, I was like, oh my God, you can make me so many other things. But he was like, no. Oh, that's yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they are not supposed to be this. What are y'all doing up here? Go on, go on, come on now. They showing out for company, girl. They knew you was on camera. <laughs> I know. How's we up this far? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so this is the um the coop that he made. Oh, and here's my compost. I just throw, I just do the lazy compost where you just throw all this stuff here. <laughs> and then and then you just um and I use it. I like dig it up and then use it in the okay. garden bits. I have a compost secret I'm gonna tell you in a second, but I'm gonna, okay. you gotta show me the chicken coop first. Okay. So this is not egg, these are not real eggs. We're just teaching them to lay eggs. They haven't done it yet, they are too young, I guess. Wait, so you have to put fake eggs in there like, this is what it looks like? Yes. What some people do is they'll put golf balls or something, you know, cause it's uh -huh. cheaper. But he just went to the little supply store and got that. And then look at all that poop in there. They just poop everywhere all the time. So what made you want to get a chicken coop, girl? Like, why you, you was like, you know what? I'm getting a chicken coop. I'm doing uh, it. We wanted, we been wanting, girl, have you ever had some um fresh chicken eggs? Yes. They are next level good. Yes. They make the best cakes. They make the best everything. Yes. Yes, they are amazing. And they're so warm. They're so good. Yeah, they're perfect. And they last for a long time. And they do last for Yeah, and the kids wanted like um, a pet or something, but I'm like, our pet need to give us something back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you can feed you. How are you? <laughs> right, I need to get something out of this. We had to call the vet the other day on the rooster. And she said, they better give us some, they better give us some eggs. So how long does it take for them to, to catch on that like, okay, this is what we're supposed to do? I don't know. So it's between like um, four and six months, depending on the kind of eggs, I mean, the kind of um, chickens you have. We have um, Rhode Island Reds, which are supposed to be really good egg um, layers. Like, mm -hmm. honestly, they should be laying eggs right now, but they're not. <laughs> <laughs> they not doing their job. They too no. busy trying to be on camera. <laughs> right. Like they don't even be they don't even be following me like this. Okay. They don't even <laughs> That is so funny. Like, so I had teased my husband about one of chicken food. And he's like, you can have one in the city of Chicago, which I haven't officially looked up the rule, but I'm like, okay, whatever, that's the rule. But I think that's great that you have one. Um, and you got them like really, really young, right? Yeah, we got them when they were like two days old. Mm -hmm. And we, um, so they stayed in the basement for like, um, uh, like six weeks. And then that's when they could, then that's when they fully feathered out and they could like be outside in the Okay. Elevator. So what are you gonna do like when it gets cold outside? They are feathered, so they're fine. They do well like, in always? like, yeah, in the cold weather. I mean, in Chicago, y'all get real cold. And so chicken <laughs> chicken owners in Chicago probably have like some type of heater or something inside yeah, of Yeah, they do. Yeah. Yeah, but um, but here it doesn't get cold enough. Like it doesn't even get below zero or anything here. You know what I'm saying? Okay. okay. Like it's barely yeah. below 30 ever, you know? Right. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. I, I just, yeah. in my, I was having... So sometimes my my Georgia brain, I mean my Chicago right. brain takes over my Georgia brain. And I'm like, right. it's cold. And I'm like, wait, no, it's not that cold down there. It's not. It's really not. <laughs> so how long do they live? Like they forever? only live they they only lay eggs, honestly, for like about 
a few years, like maybe two years, maybe three. I don't know, like depending on their diet. Yeah, they don't lay. They don't lay for a long time. After so what you do after that? Eat fried chicken. So <laughs> if they're pets, like ours, we're gonna keep them. You know, like we'll just keep them and feed them, even though they're not gonna give us anything back. But you know, are you gonna um, get some more? Yeah, yeah, you get more. Yeah, that's what we get more. Oh, you have to go and physically get more. They're not going to give you more. Like so the, you the, can, the, yeah, you can do that. Like um, since we have the rooster, they he can right. uh, um help you know create and um but we probably have to get rid of the rooster roosters because the rooster is illegal in DeKalb County. Oh. Why yeah. is he so freaking loud? So fun fact, my mother is from my mother is from Fitzgerald, Georgia, and my grandmother lives still lives there. And a few years ago, something happened. I don't know. I don't know if it was like a plant, but it was literally wild roosters everywhere around the city. It's not a big city, but everywhere around the city. And literally, when I went down there, you know, at sunrise. It would be so loud because all of the freaking roosters would be crowing at the same time. Exactly. <laughs> like one is one is loud, but just imagine like several across the whole city. It was crazy. I would be like in the hotel room, like, is that a rooster crowing? Like, what is <laughs> It's crazy. So I know it wakes you up every morning, right? Well, he doesn't crow yet. He doesn't know. How do they know? He doesn't crow. He doesn't crow yet. Oh yeah, no, he just, I don't know why he's not crowing. I don't know. And honestly, the um, vet, when she came, she said that some roosters don't crow. So we're crossing our fingers that he doesn't start crowing. But then I told somebody else that they're like, really, a rooster that doesn't crow? He just hasn't right. crowed yet. Yeah. So we'll, yeah, we'll have to get rid of him once he starts crowing. That's why we still have him. Right, because then your neighbors will really know about him. <laughs> I know, we got the little chicken, we were building a chicken coop. My next door neighbor would let me know. She's like, yeah, roosters are loud. Do you have any roosters? <laughs> we're like, no, they're all hens. That's what, but we didn't know. You know, like the, the farmer told us they were all hens, but. Yeah, you didn't know. He didn't know. Yeah, you don't know. Right, so um, now I know that one of the reasons, well, you guys are more spread out than the city. We, our yards, even though we have okay size yards for the city, um, they're pretty small comparison to you. Like, how are you dealing with the scent of the chicken coop? Because I know that they, they have a loud smell. Nope, it's loud when you get right up on it, but okay. it doesn't, yeah, you don't smell it. Like, like I'm, I'm like here and I don't smell it at all. Okay, okay. Yeah. So um, I wanted to tell you my composting story. Oh yeah. Because maybe you can help me. <laughs> and help okay. people on my channel. So I've never really composted. Uh, I would, you know, I would take chicken scraps and put them in my garden. I would do the banana banana water. I've done eggshells. I've done coffee grounds. Um, but this year I was like, I'm gonna compost. Yay me. And mm -hmm. so um, I purchased this compost bin that you can put, you can kind of put it in your kitchen. Um to just throw scraps in there. Oh, right, yeah. Well, I started composting and then I went in there one time and I was so freaked out and I haven't looked in it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared, I don't know what to do. So can you help me help my channel compost? Tell us what we need to do because so, girl, I have it in there. It's definitely composting, but I haven't touched it. Well, let me say this too. It came with a um, a charcoal filter, so there's no smell or anything. But when I had opened it that one time, I knew it's definitely composting. It is. It's inside your kitchen right now? Mm -hmm. I haven't touched it. <laughs> I literally, no, like I got it and I was hardcore composting, like putting stuff in there for like a cool four weeks. And then I peeked in there one day and I have not opened it since because I was How, so. When when was it that you um looked in it and, and didn't use it again? Oh, How long like, ago? Like May-ish. Oh. June. It's probably broken down now. It's probably basically dirt. It's probably not like go in there and look. It's not gonna be scary anymore. 
you apparently opened it when it was like in the processing phase. And okay. Like, and you probably saw mold and all types of stuff in there. Yeah. <laughs> But it's not gonna. But it, once it once it like breaks down, it's not gonna be like that gross anymore. Depending on the humidity and the temperature and a bunch of stuff. Okay. But for that reason, um, I only have compost in my house for a day. After that, it has to go outside. Girl, now you know you. <laughs> yeah, I don't have so it in the house. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do with this compost? Because just I take it. And just go take it outside. And then what? So I'm, people gonna be mad when they watch your channel and they know what they're talking about because I do everything the lazy way. I already said that before. <laughs> and how I compost is like textbook, not okay. However, it works. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whatever works, okay. Yeah, and so I will, um, I basically just, have a pile outside and I just like dump into it. I just dump and I'm sure that little um, rodents or whatever come at night and eat up the little watermelon that I left out there for them, you know? And they leave the, you know, the white and the green part <laughs> and they, and it breaks down. And then I'll get a shovel every now and then and sometimes I don't. And turn it over. As, and I turn it and as you can see back there, I didn't turn it over. I haven't turned it over. That's why I like the um, kudzu is growing all in it. That's why, you know, that's what happens when you don't turn it over. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I am not feeling more comforted about that. <laughs> just pour it in. What you could do. So what I did was I just poured. Um, when I use my compost, all I do is I just put it like in the bottom of my of my garden bed. So you could just go in there, dig a little hole in your garden bed, and put it okay. in there, and okay. cover it up with dirt, and then the rodents won't get to it because they won't, you know. Okay. Honestly, though, if you haven't even opened it since May, and already in May it was like kind of like really gross. It's probably not anything in there now. Let's go look at it right now. Go look at it right now. <laughs> Girl, come on. Okay, this is strictly for the channel. Okay, go to oh it. Oh my God, I wish you were here so you could virtually hold my hand. I know. <laughs> this is about to be scary. It'll be fine. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Close the door. Okay. I don't want to scream and scare the rest of my family. Okay, okay let's so look at it at the same time as you. Turn it around. Yeah. Okay, I switched the camera. So, oh, let me take the background off. So, okay. There is no background. Okay, you okay. see this? Yep, yep. Okay, God. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> Okay. Can you count me out for something? Okay. Three, two, one, go. Open, open, open. Is oh. that plastic in there? Yeah. You got. You can't have the plastic in there. You got to leave the plastic out. Okay. But I, I had put a chip on it. Oh, it's just dirt. Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm not going to touch it though. Yeah, don't, you have to touch it. Well, you're going to have to touch it to get the plastic off. With gloves on. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing but dirt, though. You know what I'm saying? You touch dirt with your hands. And you just wash your hands after. See? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I was so scared. You are so funny. Just dig it. Just put it in your garden right now. Well, I ain't gonna do it like now, girl. Not, okay, not, right. not now, now, now. Right, right. But I'm, I'm going to use it for, um, I'm gonna use it for my fall plants. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, you could just keep it in there for now because obviously it's not, no, it doesn't have a smell and. It doesn't smell, but that's because the thing, I bought it, I'll, I'll include the link to my um, people, even though I just scared them away from composting. But um, I bought it off Amazon, this really small company. Uh, and they sell it, and they like I said, they sell the um inserts, the charcoal inserts, so it's no smell at all, right? So, yeah, that's my first time. Oh, <laughs> you are so funny! Oh, so good. I face my fears. So, um, you showed me your watermelon, you showed me your chicken coop, which is just okay. Oh, yeah. Do you have anything else? And then I'm gonna ask you, you know, what advice you have for any 
you know, people who are thinking about getting into gardening or people who are thinking about getting a chicken coop, both of those. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, let me just show you a little bit of my garden. So it's a little bit of a mess. I told you before. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but one, one problem that I have is that I've planted, I have so much kudzu in my yard. And so I planted it right next to the kudzu and it's always like, it's like a constant battle. Mm -hmm. For me to um, like keep it away. Okay. But, um, here's my tomatoes. Tomatoes. I didn't pick them. Those. Oh, yep. they are huge. Are those bad yeah. boys? Uh, I don't even know, girl. So I I just did it from seeds, and I just I, I know they're organic, whatever they are. <laughs> okay, okay. But I didn't keep the package because I didn't even know these things gonna come of it. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. And then um and then this is my oh here's a cucumber. I've got mm -hmm. a lot of cucumbers from here, and I think that's the only cucumber I have that's growing right now. Okay. And like here's some squash leaves. Yeah, like, oh yeah, no. Well, cucumber just looks like that, you know. I don't no, have that, that big cucumber. leaf beside it? It looks like a, a gourd. No, I only have cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I had, I don't think I didn't eat squash. I'm pretty sure I didn't do squash. Okay, okay. Oh, look at the little baby. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, I love the baby. <laughs> And then, um, and then, yeah, here's some more tomatoes. And then this is what happened with the, um, I don't even know if I should show you this, but this, oh, it, it broke apart. I didn't really do a good job at digging this in, but this was, mm -hmm. um, this is, you know, this is what happens. You can just keep that in there. You can put that in your compost. You know what I mean? The, mm -hmm. the, 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 um, the oh, papers. the um, paper towels. I mean, the, um, right. the, the seeds in the, in the toilet roll. Right, exactly. And I put, I, I planted the green beans in there. I see, yeah. I'm gonna try green beans next year. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna try the purple whole piece because those are my favorites. Um, of what now, would you say? I said I'm gonna try purple whole peas because those uh, are my favorite. Oh. I love them. Yeah, I love cool. those. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess that's all, that's all I want to show you from there. Okay, so I can talk about, um, if you want a garden, get you a tomato plant. <laughs> That's what you told me. Do you remember telling me that years ago? Oh, I think I, I you know what? I, I feel like I do remember. Well, I do know that back then, that's what I was telling everybody. Just go get a tomato plant. Yeah, you were like, just go get a tomato plant. It's going to be fine. And I was like, I'm scared. And I did. I start. well, I started out with tomato, cucumber, kale. I think I did tomato, cucumber, and kale. Those were my first three things I ever grew. That's and, a lot. Um, yeah, I was so proud. I had this little bitty bed. If I can find pictures, I'm going to put it in here. But I had this really little bed. Now I'm like quadruple the size, and now I'm growing all the things. But, but yeah, so you say start out with a tomato plant. Just get a tomato plant. Get a tomato plant. And you know, if you don't eat tomatoes, um, you know, like you said, cucumber's good. Also, um, bell pepper is pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Jalapeno peppers are the easiest because no no insects want them. <laughs> <laughs> They're too hot. <laughs> yes. And so, um, and yeah, just start, just start small and then just like grow to get bigger, you know? Okay. Um, starting off big is um, a really big risk that you don't have to take. I mean, it's, it, it can re be very rewarding, but I don't know. I just feel like it's not really worth the risk. Of, like, I absolutely agree. And yeah. I tell people that because they see my garden and sometimes they see other people's gardens that I share and they're like, oh my gosh, I could never do all that. And I'm like, look, they've been doing this for years. You know, they worked their way up to this. Or some people go big and go home, you know, first time out. But I think people should really start out small. That's so I, I I, agree with the tomatoes because tomatoes are very, um, very easy to grow in my, you know, in my experience. Almost yes. regardless of where you're located, the tomatoes yes. show up for yes. you. Exactly, exactly. And what do you say about people who are thinking about getting a chicken food? Oh, so chickens are a whole other story. <laughs> <laughs> so they just take, um, it does a lot of work. So the way we did our, our chicken coop is like a little bit on the fancier end. It does not have to be that, it does not have to be that. Like I know some people, actually my brother knows some people who basically had their chickens in a dog crate with like a tarp on top. 
Wow. <laughs> yeah, so it, and they, you know, they last, they made egg, they get, they ate eggs and stuff, you know, and everything. So it, it doesn't have to be really fancy. Um, but, you know, you kind of like want your chickens to be happy. And so you want to give them a nice place to live and feed them good stuff. I just say you got to YouTube it, honestly. Do a lot yeah, of that's, research. That's why your chicken not laying eggs because you up here trying to build them. <laughs> <laughs> The rich the call to the chicken coops. <laughs> the other chickens, they know they just need to do their job. Baby. Right. <laughs> no, they better give us some dang chickens. They better give us some dang too. They better. <laughs> That's good. Cool. <laughs> and I guess the other tip would be to make sure you research the, the zoning laws, you know, for having those things in your area. I mean, honestly, only if your neighbors hate you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> or if you have a rooster. Nobody, right. nobody really cares, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really good for the environment to have your own, to get your own eggs. You don't have to use the packaging that you have to buy from the store, you know? Right. Like, even, like, the thing is with um, gardening and compost, too, whatever you do is, is good. It's better for the environment. Even if you don't ever use um, your compost, it's better for that watermelon to be riding out in the yard than in a dumpster heap. Dumpster. It, it, it takes, yeah, it takes forever to break down when it's when it's like combined with like other non-organic, um, you know, like um, material. You know what I'm saying? It's or plastic. Plastic, <laughs> yeah, you gotta get that cut plastic out the compost. <laughs> But it'll, um, you know, but it's just better. It's just better for the world to do it. And just try and see what happens. Cool. I, I, I really like that. Um, I don't know if I'll ever have a chicken coop, but I want to make sure, you know, I share that information with other people because as you all can see, gardening can take different turns. It, it can do different things. And you moved. <laughs> and you still got good trees. <laughs> and, yeah. you know, you recreate your garden wherever you go. So do you have anything, like any parting words for anybody on my channel? Um, no, I really appreciate what you're doing. I love like your whole energy and how you're putting you. yourself out there and this information. <laughs> this is so fun. Thank I was you. very nervous about it, but it was, you made it easy. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. That's the goal. I really, you know, I fell in love with gardening so much that I wanted to share it with other people. And I was like, they have to see other people that look like them, you know, um, right. to see what we're doing, but also to show the differences in gardening and how much fun it can be. So I really appreciate that. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your time. I wish you the best of luck with your chickens. Hopefully they will give you some eggs and you can eat them. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and your rooster will not get you fine neighborhood. Right. <laughs> Thank you. All right then. Bye. Bye. Hey friends. Thanks so much for joining the episode of Gardening with Friends today. I totally enjoyed talking to Ayana and seeing her wonderful and amazing garden and her chicken coop. If you enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe, comment down below and tell me what you learned from this interview. And if you too are going to go get your own chicken coop and have a rooster in your neighborhood. All right, guys. Bye.